Are Rocket and Nebula the key to defeating Thanos in Avengers Endgame? We're less than a month away from entering the endgame of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's third phase. And while there are enough fan theories about time travel going around to make us feel like we're the ones trapped in a time loop, it's a pair of new theories about two non-Avengers, Rocket and Nebula, that may finally make sense of how the snapture could actually be reversed. Now, these theories mostly involve looking back at previous Marvel movies, but if they're correct, that would make this video a spoiler for Avengers Endgame. Game. So if you don't want to be burdened with knowledge like a certain CrossFit California Raisin, well, now's the time to declare yourself captain, join up with an Asgardian pirate angel, and get out of Dodge until we're done here. I bid you farewell and good luck, morons. First reported by Express, this theory is based on a Reddit post by user Mr. Lee Man. If you look at the list of who survived the snap, it has a decidedly phase one flavor to it. After all, the entire original Avengers lineup of Captain America, Thor, Bruce Banner, Tony Stark, Black Widow, and Hawkeye all survived. Even Rhodey, who we met all the way back in the first Iron Man movie, survived. Meanwhile, newer, more marketable, <coughs> I mean, uh, powerful characters like Doctor Strange, Black Panther, and Spider-Man all ended up as Roomba food. The two characters who don't fit this pattern? Rocket and Nebula. According to the theory, that's not mere luck, and it's also not the Russos wanting Rocket and Tony Stark to break the record for longest on-screen quip-off in cinema history. It's because they're going to play an integral part in undoing the snapture. Now, at this point, it's as close to confirmed as possible that time travel is going to play some kind of role in Endgame. Leaked set photos suggest that the Avengers will be revisiting key moments like the Battle of New York from the first Avengers film, and it's also likely they're going to be doing that to track down all of the Infinity Stones before Thanos can get his grubby purple sausage fingers on them. And if that's the case, the Avengers are going to need people to tell them where to go to find the Infinity Stones. Most of the stones' locations pre-Thanos are fairly common knowledge. The Space, Mind, Reality, and Time Stones locations are known to multiple Avengers. However, the Power Stone was introduced and then safely hidden in a single Guardians movie. While Thor somehow knows it eventually got locked away on Xandar, going through the entire Nova Corps to get it? Well, that'd be a bit of a challenge. That leaves Rocket Raccoon as the only living creature with the ability to pinpoint where and when the stone was ripe for the picking. As for the Soul Stone, only Gamora knew its location, until Thanos forced her to reveal it, that is. Of course, his way of doing that was by torturing her sister Nebula right in front of her, allowing Nebula to overhear its location, which means, with the exception of Thanos, she is the only non-Red Skull in the galaxy who can tell the time-traveling Avengers where to go and find it. Now, that explains why Kevin Feige and the Russos decided to keep these two seemingly random characters alive, but it still leaves us wondering how they survived. We already know the Snapture claimed only half of all the life in the galaxy, so maybe Rocket and Nebula were just lucky. Or maybe, as this theory suggests, it had to do with the fact that they're not technically living. According to the theory, Rocket and Nebula were exempt from the snapping because they aren't technically biological beings anymore. Rocket was the victim of illegal genetic and cybernetic testing, and as for Nebula, well, Thanos removed a part from her every time she lost a Gamora, which was all the time always, so at this point, she's likely more machine than person. Because I don't know about you, but my limbs certainly don't bend like this. So there you have it, folks. Thanks to a few cybernetic enhancements and some timely knowledge, two of the galaxy's most antisocial beings get to save the universe. It's almost as if they're like some sort of guardians of some kind of galaxy or something. But what do you think? Do you agree that Rocket and Nebula were exempt from the Snapture? Are they the key to defeating Thanos in Endgame? Let's discuss. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and share this video. And until the next time becoming the subject of a mad scientist experiment saves you from being turned to dust, remember to join us at Nerdist.com. What's a raccoon? What's a raccoon? It's what you are, stupid. Ain't no thing like me except me.